What is going on guys? My name is Connor and today we're going to open some 2021 Topps Heritage Baseball. Um, I know this is a Saturday and I usually upload on Friday, but uh, this product came out on the 24th along with Topps opening day. Um, and they both got to me yesterday uh, a little bit later in the evening, so I figured it would be better to just open it up on Saturday morning and then post the video because I wasn't really feeling doing a video last night. So 24 packs, 9 cards per pack, so what's that, uh, 216 cards. Uh, welcome to Connor Does Math, right on camera. Um, you're guaranteed one real a real one autograph or relic in every box. That's the downside of a product like Heritage. Um, I always prefer products where you are guaranteed an autograph because your relic can generally be uh, not so great, but Heritage does have some, some really good autographs in the set. <coughs> or not autographs, um, relics in the set. Uh, you can find some of the, uh, some of the relics where that's interesting. So the box topper is just right in there. It's a, a Ken Rudolph uh, 1972 design card. Um, I don't know if this is like actually from 1972. I mean, the corner is kind of bad. So maybe it's a rediscovered tops type deal. Um, but either way, kind of neat. Uh, nothing special, though. I'll set that off to the side. Um, but it is a good look at what the... Uh, the design is, um, but first I was I was talking about those relics. Sometimes the relics are really cool. Uh, like you could have uh, the one I saw on Beckett's website was a uh, was a quad relic with like Acuna, John Smoltz, Hank Aaron, and maybe someone else I don't remember. Um, but you know you get 24 packs, and I I kind of like the art of the pack. Um, I will say I don't love the 1972 card design but that's okay um we'll get through it anyway so like i was saying uh this is a 1972 design um numbers one through 400 are the base set and 401 through 500 are the short prints um and the short print is one in three packs so we'll be flipping these over to to look for short prints but there's also a lot of variation so there's uh action image variations so this is like the base variation and then there's uh, nickname variations where their name is different and then there's uh, team name color variations where the so you see how it's green and yellow the green and yellow will be flipped um, so those are kind of harder to spot uh, then there's errors like missing name plates things like that and then there's also um, missing stars and then there's like throwback variations so there's a lot of variations um, we got a James Karinchak and a Shane Bieber right off the top. Jacob Stallings, uh, Sixto Sanchez rookie card in action. That's pretty cool. Um, so that's not his like base rookie card. That's just uh, like one of the, um, I, I don't know how to explain it. So like this is what the base rookie cards look like um, with Tanner Hook and Sam Huff. But then you can get these in-action vari variations, which aren't actually the action print variations. So this is uh, an interesting one. The Spencer Howard, um, the it's not like a throwback, but it's the, uh, what's, it, what's it called? Uh, Boyhood Photos of the Stars. So that's kind of neat. I will set the Sixto on the screen because Sixto is a pretty good prospect. Um, so we'll skip over the Spencer Howard for now, Yoshi Tsutsugo, Cody Bellinger, and then a game one of the World Series by Mookie Betts. So now with Heritage, um, because the 401 to 500 are the short prints, so we got this Yoshi Tsutsugo. I'm going to have a short print stack just uh, right up there. Um, bring 6 to a little bit more on the screen. So you want to look for anything above 400. Um, and then in this little, like, loop here is where it'll say if it's variation so like if you miss it it'll say it in there but it looks like we didn't miss any in that first pack so moving on um there are quite a few rookies in here um a lot of them share uh cards because in the 70s uh players had like two or cards had like two players uh per uh per card for for the rookies 
Um, we got an in-action Joey Gallo, an in-action Cody Bellinger, and Josh Donaldson, Quang Hyun Kim, Garrett Cole, and Randy Dobnak, formerly an Uber driver. Uh, so the Quang Hyun Kim is a short print. So I will set him in our little short print pile up there. So for one and three packs, we definitely have two in two packs. Um, so that is a pretty good start for the short prints. Um, but as for the uh, the good rookies, there's Alec Bohm, Sixto Sanchez, uh, Joey Bart, um, Cabrian Hayes, Christian Pache, Ryan Mountcastle, Bobby Dalbeck, Joe Adele, Nick Madrigal, Casey Mize, Tarek Skubal, Dylan Carlson, Evan White, Nate Pearson, and plenty more. Um, all right, so now I have worked my way through my little cheat sheet. I wrote myself up, and I can be paying a little bit more attention. So we get a Nate Pearson rookie card. I'll set that one up with the uh, the Sixto because they're both in action. Rookie of the Year award, Bo Bichette. Expecting big things from him this season. Fernando Tatis, he had a little shoulder injury in spring, but it seems like he is going to be okay. I don't know why I got like hiccups or whatever's going on right now, so watch out for those. Um, as always, let me know if I miss anything. I am kind of relying on that uh, the little bubble here to, to tell me uh, if it is a variation, but you know, might not be perfect, so I could miss something. We got a Rockies Matt Kemp. I did not know he was on the Rockies, actually. Uh, then we got a Ryan Mountcastle and Bobby Delbeck. So that's what I'm talking about. See, this is what the, the rookie stars look like. There isn't the rookie insignia, but it is a rookie card nonetheless. Uh, the Cy Young Award, Austin Hayes, Albert Pujols, and how about that? That is an Alex Verdugo autograph. I can't say I was expecting that to show up right there. Um, so let me grab a card sleeve real quick for the Verdugo autograph. Uh, pretty neat. Alex Verdugo is an interesting player. He was traded over to the Red Sox in the Mookie Betts deal. Um, he doesn't do a whole lot of anything super great. Uh, he has a generally pretty good average, but he does not, you know, steal a ton of bags, hit a ton of homers. But a good player to have as one of your three outfielders every day. So Alex Verdugo autograph, not too bad. Let's look at the back of that. I realized I didn't uh, flip it over. Yeah, it still looks like a a normal um, a normal card. A lot of them say, well, congratulations, you won this autograph, but not this one. Oh, it still looks like a normal card. So that's pretty neat. We got an Alex Verdugo auto. I will set that right on screen there, right in the front. Um, then let's see if we got any short prints or variations. It does not appear so. That would be a pretty loaded pack if we get an autograph and some variations. But we got the Ryan Mountcastle and Bobby Dalbeck rookie card and the Alex Verdugo autograph. So Moving on, we have Jesus Lusardo. Um, my girlfriend speaks Spanish, and she always likes to remind me that his name is actually Jesus Lizard, um, which is kind of funny. Uh, flashback 1972, Roberta Flack tops the Billboard Hop 100. Joe Jimenez, he was actually just optioned down to the minor leagues for the Tigers. Um, he had a really good run of saves. Oh, awkward. He is a short print. So we'll set him up there. He had a really good run of saves at the beginning of last season. Um, that's kind of weird. So I'm not sure what this is. Um, if you do know, please let me know. Do all of these do that on the back? Yes. Okay, so, I mean, that's Mike Trout. I don't know who this is. If somebody could explain that to me in the comments down below, it would be greatly appreciated. See, now that one doesn't have it. Oh, man. I thought I did enough research, and it turns out I did not. I will have to look into what those are after the video. Uh, if you know, please let me know in the comments down below. I would really appreciate it. Um, but we have two of these, like, puzzle piece backs, I guess I'll call them. Um, not quite sure what they are. Uh, but please let me know in the comments down below. I knew I should have watched someone open this before me. I did this with Heritage last year, and I got a hot box, and I had no idea. So I guess we're keeping with the trend. Uh, Zach Wheeler, he is on my fantasy team. Mike Talkman, uh, some people are talking about trading him. Uh, Christian Walker, Clayton Kershaw, Morgan named uh, MLB All-Star Game MVP. Chris Bassett, he is on a fantasy team of mine. He is... Uh, 
I think he's projected to be the Oakland A's opening day starter. Uh, so that's pretty neat. He has a really nice uh, looping curve ball. Um, so let's keep moving right along, see if we can find some more of these good rookies like the, the Joe Adele or Cabrian Hayes or the two Detroit pitchers. Um, so what do we have here? We have a 2020 AL batting leaders. Uh, we got Tim Anderson, DJ LeMahieu, and David Fletcher. Um, I'm a big David Fletcher fan. I like watching him for the. Uh, I liked watching him for the uh, the Angels uh, in the past couple of years. Ryan Yarbrough. I know he has a lot of fans. Jose Altuve. He doesn't have that weird puzzle piece back. Jose Ramirez. And then what's this? We have a Max Scherzer flipped over card is an action variation so that's nice that they uh they let us know if it's an action variation ahead of time so that's pretty neat we had a max scherzer action variation um so that was flipped over let's see what else we got here we got a pete fairbanks who uh, did not record a save all season and then had uh, a couple of save in the postseason uh and then joe adele and nick madrigal rookie stars card that's a pretty nice one we'll set that one with the uh the other rookie stars card we got there and we'll flip it over and see if we got anything exciting. Um, we got another one of these puzzle piece bags, I guess. Uh, it looks like they're just meant to make an image. Um, I just don't know what image they're trying to make or if it's like special or anything like that. But someone will tell me down below, I am sure of it. So let's see what else we can find here. We got a Noah Syndergaard. Um, hopefully he can come back and have a healthy season. Dallas Keuchel, Tyler Molly, uh, Martin Maldonado, Shohei Otani, who has been playing out of his mind in spring. I think he has like five homers, and he's been pitching pretty well. Um, doesn't look like we have any short prints in that pack or any specific variations, so we will move on to the next. Um, along with this box, I received... Uh, two hobby boxes of 2021 opening day so i will be opening that on the channel next week uh and then i gotta check the release why am i flipping it over at the beginning i'm ridiculous all right so we got freddie galvis uh clayton kershaw so yeah i will be looking to see um what is coming out coming up and i will try and get my hands on some of it i know bowman's probably coming out soon ish Zach Britton short print. We'll put that up with our other short prints. Um, this one's like a, a comic. Oh, okay. So it's like a comic book page, maybe? All right. I got a couple of the Mike Trout ones. I got a couple other ones. We'll see what we can put together. Um, moving right along. Uh, so, yeah, opening day next week, and then I got to see what's coming out after that. So let's get into this next pack here. Uh, we have a Nick Ahmed, uh, Adam Engel. And we have a Cabrian Hayes in action rookie card with the, the normal back. Um, so we'll set him down here. Uh, Luis Severino, Luis Robert. Um, this is a rookie stars card, but not the Cardinal we were going for. We're hoping to get the Dylan Carlson, uh, Jake Cave, and Justin Turner. Let's see if any of these are short print. Lance McCullers is, in fact, a short print. Um nothing else in there uh, so we would expect to get eight short prints out of 24 packs since they're one and three packs and we are up to five so uh, before i get into the next pack uh, just a reminder if you see anything you like or if you want to reach out talk to me let me know anything really just check me out on instagram or twitter i got the handles on the screen this is my nice little business card um, for Instagram, I'm at Connors underscore cards underscore IG. And for Twitter, I'm at Connors underscore cards. I'm honestly not super active in either place. Uh, I mostly just use them to announce when I'm coming out with videos. Although I did start a poll over on my Twitter. It got three whole votes. I was trying to figure out if you guys wanted to see um, Heritage or Opening Day first. And every vote, all three of them, went for Heritage. So that's why I'm here um, opening Heritage. So I am not super active over there. We got the Encarnacion short print. I'm not super active over there. Uh, but you never know when you're going to miss something. So 
please do go give me a follow on each of those. And that is the easiest way to contact me because YouTube doesn't have a uh, direct messaging system. Um, and just a reminder, the more you subscribe, the closer we get to uh, 1,000 subscribers, which I will be probably doing another giveaway, um, as well as starting to live stream on my phone. Uh, I did have someone mention to me uh, last week that I can still live stream if I use a like a laptop and a webcam. So I think I might kind of look into that a little bit and see what I can figure out. Um, but for now, I'll just uh, just keep posting videos. Um, it is kind of the, the heat of baseball season, so I'm not really hurting for content uh, when I am. Uh, kind of in the off season, I was thinking more about live streaming, but now there's new products coming out, and I'm always excited to open new things, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we got a Kyle Tucker. He's ready to take over one of those corner outfield spots, probably right field for the Astros this year. Josh Stalmont, he kind of bust onto the scene last year. Uh, there's a Ryan Mountcastle boyhood photos of the stars, so he has a little image down there, and then a picture of him as a little kid pitching. Uh, Devin Williams, one of my favorite players in baseball, just has a ridiculous changeup. And Danny Jansen. So let's see who's a short print and who isn't. We had another piece that kind of looks like Hank Aaron, maybe. Um, and nothing else too exciting. So let's get into this next pack. It looks like we have, oh, I don't know, a little under half of the packs left. See if we can find some more of these good rookies I mentioned earlier on. Ty Buttery, uh, he is a reliever for the Angels, and um, sometimes when he comes onto the field, we got a nice Dylan Carlson there. That top edge is not the nicest looking, but you know we live and move on. Um, but Ty Buttery, sometimes when he comes on to pitch, they'll. Uh, They'll just throw a, a video of butter sautéing in a pan up on the scoreboard while he's walking out to the mound. I always thought that was kind of funny. Not nearly as funny as Patrick Sandoval, though. Uh, at least I think it was Patrick Sandoval. It might have been someone else. Oh, man, now I can't remember. Um, but it's it's one of the, the other relievers for the um, for the Angels, and he has this weird video of like him and a, a horse head. Or something. Here we go. We got the Joey Bart and Dalton Varsho and Ryan Jeffers. Uh, Joey Bart is a, a pretty good prospect. Uh, Dalton Varsho um, has some fans, but he got sent down. Um, he had a really abysmal spring so far. Um, I know some people were drafting him on their fantasy team, hoping that they could get he could get them some steals from the catcher position. Uh, looks like we have another one of these um, Chicago Cubs comic book backs, puzzle piece backs. I'm not sure what those are, so hopefully it's not a hot box and I'm like throwing this away again. It's not nearly as exciting as those those purple parallels from the uh, the 1971 design, but who knows? I could be completely missing out. We got a Jalen Beeks, uh, Sixto Sanchez rookie card with Jesus Sanchez. We'll set. Six, and eh, we'll, we'll make a little more space here. Hang on, we'll move some of these packs out of the way, and we'll get six to on the screen up there. Cool. Uh, Glaber, another Ryan Mountcastle and Bobby Dalbeck. I will set that one on top of the first one. Uh, the Cy Young Award, Miguel Cabrera in action, Trent Grissom. And there's the Alec Bohm and Spencer Howard rookie card. That's a nice one. Um, and followed up by a Gregory Polanco. I, uh, I had my annual um, add Gregory Polanco to my fantasy baseball watch list the other day. Uh, always a fun time of the year. He's always got so much hype, and then he never turns out. But a lot of it's due to injuries, so maybe this will be his year finally. Um, we got a Josh Lindblom, Ketel Marte, Chance Cisco, Starling Marte, Wilson Contreras, Nelson Cruz, um, at the MVP award, Sonny Gray, and Nick Solak. I know a lot of people are expecting big things out of Nick Solak. He's got uh, second base and outfield eligibility, eligibility there for the Rangers. Um, 
so he can uh, he's got some power in his bat hopefully he can get uh, put up some good numbers with a little more consistent playing time now that they've kind of cleared out their their middle infield roadblock I think they got rid of Elvis Andrews um, and they told Rude Neto Dor he wasn't going to play every day I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on uh, so we got a Jacob DeGrom, Justin Smoke, Robbie Ray followed up by the, the Nate Pearson and Tom Hatch rookie card We'll throw that one right there and keep Verdugo on the screen. Got Paul Goldschmidt, Freddie Freeman, uh, Nolan Ryan, and Shane Bieber. That's a pretty cool one. Then and now, um, Joy Wendell and J.D. Davis. Let's see if any of these are short prints. We got another one of these. And no short prints. So not too bad of a haul. Um, our auto probably isn't the best auto I've ever seen. Uh, but we got a decent amount of good rookies and some short prints and uh, the, the action variation of Scherzer, so that's pretty cool. We got a Martin Perez. Uh, CJ Crone, he's actually on the Rockies, so he will be hitting in course. That's pretty neat for him as a power hitter. Um, not a whole lot else in that pack. Uh, Miguel Andujar is still hanging around. I heard he was uh, actually fielding some ground balls the other day. Uh, but that was one of our worst packs, that's for sure. Um, looks like we got about five packs left. Let's see if we can find anything good. Um, there are other variations, like there, you can find chrome cards. Uh, there's different colored uh, borders, but those are pretty rare. So we'll see if we get lucky, though. Joey Gallo, J.P. Crawford, Christian Yelich, the uh, NL RBI leaders, Michael Chavis, Starling Marte, Robinson Cano, Max Scherzer, followed up by Tommy Edmond. Um, and let's see what we got. Uh, the Robinson Cano was a short print. Uh, Mr. PEDs himself. And then we got another one of these photo backs. I've called them three different things. One of them's got to be right. If I just keep calling them by a different name, every time I find one, I'm bound to get the right name at least once, right? So uh, let's keep going. We got a uh, Mitch Moreland. He is on the Padres. I, I'm not sure I actually knew that. Eloy Jimenez, tragedy struck when he tried to catch a home run that was gone by a few feet. Um, he got hung up on the fence and uh, tore his pack, and he's out for six to eight months, I think. Sorry about that. I just love when my camera decides to cut out and not let me know if anything's saved or not. So, sorry about that, but we got the Joe Adele rookie card. I know I was talking about Eloy Jimenez there. Let me see if I can slide these short prints over a touch so I can put the Joe Adele on the screen. Uh, but yeah, Joe Adele, serious injury, not too great. Uh, Going to miss essentially the whole season. Let's see if we got any short prints in here. Nothing major. Uh, so we got three packs left. Man, I can't believe my, my video cut out in the middle of that. So, Oh, well, we got Trevor May. Uh, I believe he is on the Mets for some reason. I'm not quite sure. Juan Soto, Max Freed. That's kind of an interesting picture. Josh Naylor. These are some we haven't seen before. Charlie Blackman, Mike Yastrzemski. We got a new age performers, Luke Voigt. Followed up by Wilson Contreras and Yasmani Grandal. Let's see if we have any short prints here or any special variations. It does not appear so. So let's keep going. Two packs left. Let's see if we can find any of these rookies that have eluded us so far, like uh, Christian Pache, Dylan Carlson, and the uh, the pitchers from the Tigers. So we got a Brady Singer and Nick Heath rookie card, uh, Freddie Freeman, Danny Mendick, uh, Juan Soto in action, Adam Eaton, uh, the great one, Roberto Clemente. Jake Arrieta, Nick Castellanos, and Gio Gonzalez. Let's see. The Jake Arrieta is a short print. I'm not sure how they decide who gets the short prints. Um, seemingly pretty random, but I do not know. If you do know, let me know in the comments down below. So last pack. Let's see if we can pull some last pack magic. Uh, we shall see. So we got John Lester. That's a card we haven't seen yet, so that's always a good sign. Uh, Jacob Junis, Ronald Acuna Jr., Gleyber Torres, Ryan McMahon, Alex Cobb, a New Age Performers, Randy Rosarena, Abraham Toro, and Nolan Arenado. So nothing too special in that last pack. 
and it doesn't look like we got a short print or any type of variation either. So that is all we have. Uh, I'll be opening 2021 Tops opening day uh, next Friday, and then I'll have to look at the Rui schedule to see what I'm going to open after that. But until then, I'll catch you guys next time.